I'm gonna read. Okay, what I'm gonna read is I'm gonna read from page 41. It's the last little subsection of that chapter. That way, hopefully, it'll make sense. Okay. The transcendent other. Okay. Quote If hallucinogens function as interspecies chemical messengers, then the dynamic of the close relationship between primate and hallucinogenic plant is one of information transfer from one species to another. Where plant hallucinogens do not occur, such transfers of information takes, take place with great slowness. But in the presence of hallucinogens, a culture is quickly introduced to ever more novel information, sensory input, and behavior, and thus is bootstrapped to a higher and higher state of self-reflection. I call this the encounter with the transcendent other, but this is only a label, not an explanation. From one point of view, the transcendent other is nature correctly perceived to be alive and intelligent. From another, it is the awesomely unfamiliar union of the senses and memory of the past and anticipation of the future. The transcendent other is what one encounters on powerful hallucinogens. It is the crucible of mystery of our being, both as a species and as an individual and as individuals. The transcendent other is nature without her cheerfully reassuring mask of ordinary space, time, and causality. Of course, imagining these higher states of self-reflection is not easy, for when we seek to do this, we are acting as if we expect language to somehow encompass that which is, at present, beyond language or translinguistic. Psilocybin, the hallucinogen unique to mushrooms, is an effective tool in this situation. Psilocybin's main synergic effects effect seems ultimately to be in the domain of language. It excites vo vocalization, it empowers articulation, it transmutes language into something that is visibly held. It could have had an impact on the sudden emergence of consciousness and language use in early humans. We literally may have eaten our way to higher consciousness. In this context, it is important to note that the most powerful mutant mutagens in the natural environment occur in molds and fungi. Mushrooms and cereal grains infected by molds may have had a major influence on animal species, including primates evolving into in, evolving into the grasslands. End quote. 